So in September 2022, um, one morning I woke up early, early in the morning with difficulty breathing. Um, I had actually had pain upon exhalation, every every exhalation, inhalation, I had pain. And unfortunately, my husband had left to go out of town on business the day before, so I was home by myself. And so as soon as the sun came up, I called my son and Corey and asked him if he would come over and take me to the hospital. And Corey stayed on the telephone with me. He had to drive about 35 to 45 minutes. He stayed on the phone with me the entire time as I was dressing and preparing to go. So when he arrived, I we went to the emergency room and they took me in as soon as possible. They took me in very quickly and did a CT scan and came back in and told me that I had bilateral massive pulmonary embolisms and that I would have to have surgery. Um, they actually wanted to do surgery that day, but they ended up waiting until the next morning. I was the first case. They took me in and they broke the clots up as many as they could. And then they injected some medications to dissolve uh, some of the clots. And afterwards, I went into ICU for a couple of days. And then I was discharged to the floor. And that, pro that progress went very well. Uh, but the, the social worker came in and told me that, you know, it's time for you to get ready to go uh, on discharge and that going home for you is not an option. And so I looked at my husband, he looked at me, and he, we were like, what is she talking about? She handed me this several pieces of paper that had a nursing home on there so I could choose a nursing home. And I just, I didn't even look at it, I just like put it aside. And me and my husband had decided that I was gonna be coming home. That's where I left from and that's where I was gonna be going. And so I came home, but in all of this, you know, the Bible tells us that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony. And I had made up in my mind that I was going to live and not die and be able to give my testimony about the faithfulness of God and about how faithful and how true His word is. And it really didn't dawn on me and it really didn't hit me until I was discharged from the hospital, came home, my husband was showing me pictures of me in the ICU with the numerous of IVs. And then my post-op visit to the doctor, he says, Ms. Gillum, you know that people die from this. And it just hit me that I'm sitting here as a living, breathing miracle of God. One of the scriptures that stood out with me during this time was Psalms 103. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, bless his holy name, and forget not all of his benefits. So it's been a year now, and I've had CT scans, and I have been cleared. The doctors say that I don't have any blood clots. I am blood clot free. I'm breathing without pain. And I just give God all of the glory, all of the honor, and all of the praise. If you have a testimony, then you need to say it, say it, say it. Thank you everyone for sending in your testimonies. We are enjoying reading them. We're gonna get back to you. Hey, for the rest of you who have not done it yet, remember, send in your testimony to say it at wotfc.com. Say it with your chest. Let's go.